What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. And in this video, there ain't no way to do it, people, but just to grab the band-aid and rip it off and just give you the spoiler alert first. And then we're gonna have to talk about it, alright? If I was to ask you how much of the float does retail own, your response would be what? No, it's not 80%. Bear said 80%. Bear's using an old statistic from 2001 and saying that retail owns 80%, 90% of the float, over 100% of the float, all right? Well, that's cool to believe that, but what do the true numbers tell us? The true numbers, according to tip ranks, shows us AMC's ownership and who owns AMC, 74% of insiders own AMC. 9.85% mutual funds, 12.61% other institutional investors, and 3.47% public companies and individual investors. And now, not only am I upset about the fact that they're trying to tell me that retail investors only own 3.47%. We can't even get that to ourselves. We have to share that 3.47% with public companies. So retail investors, my brothers and sisters, apes, there's only less than 3.47% of us. What happened to everybody? Now, if you look at this little chart right here, you see that it's the purple, all right, is 74%. That's how much of the float insiders own, all right? And I know damn well that Adam Aaron and the rest of the insiders ain't been buying. So where is 74% of the shares, where are they coming from? I'll tell you where they're going to. Let's look over here to the second receipt that has the same information called WallStreetZen.com and it shows that Antar Capital owns 93,911,906 shares of AMC right now as I'm speaking to you. All right, and that means that translates into they own 31.77% of the float of AMC, Antara. And then somehow Wanda has moved back in where Beijing Wanda and Wanda America Entertainment now owns 35.95% of AMC now. Now it's all starting to make sense to me. Now I've told y'all what all of this bull crap with this vote that everybody's done forgot that we've got going on right now on June 5th, all right, to where we vote rather to remove the anti-takeover matters. Now I want you to pay particular attention. I've told y'all this in the past. If you're new, then good. You're about to get the lesson. But amendments number three, and number four were very important. The amendment to eliminate the prohibition against stockholders acting by written consent. And I told y'all, that's not stockholders like me and you. That's your big wig stockholders. You have to have about 20% of the company in order to do what they want done. But right now there's a, a prohibition against it. They can't do it. All right, only the board can call a board meeting. All right, the stockholders that want to act by written consent is Antara. All right, or Wanda, probably Antara. But number four is to remove the limitation on the stockholders. That's the Antara and Wanda. Now we know who they are to remove the limitations for them to be able to call a special meeting. Now, why are they wanting to eliminate these anti-takeover matters? Because now they own this many shares. Antara owns 93.911, okay, shares. 
Wanda owns a hundred million. All right, right there, just that right there alone. All right, that's a hundred million shares of AMC. All right, so they have effectively taken over the shares, but they can't take over the board. All right, which they're trying to give it to them. It's not like it's a secret no more. They're trying to give these people AMC. All right, and that's the way it's been. Now the question is, I'm looking at this chart over on Tip Ranks, and you see that they got the Antar Capital LP's trading history, and we have Ape and we have AMC. Let's open up Ape and take a look and see what we find. And we're going to go to the three-year chart, and we can start seeing right here where they're selling and buying. So we're going to. Pick it up from here, stretch it out, and let's take a good look at these dates. Now, the first date that we see a sale is February 13th, 2023. This is for Ape shares. Now, that would line up with the prospectus that AMC filed on February 13th. Okay, this is the deal that they made with Antara for their first set of eight, okay, and you see right here where the deal is for on February 7, 2023, AMC Entertainment Holdings in connection with the consummation of its previously announced forward looking statement agreement, dated as of December 22nd, 2022, issued to Antar to the investor $106,595,000. Equity units or ape shares for an aggregate purchase price of seventy five point one million and simultaneously purchase from the investor on a private basis a hundred million aggregate principal amount of the company's ten percent blah 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 debt second lien blah 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 to do two thousand six in exchange for ninety one million twenty six thousand Apes, that's important, people. This deal gave Antara ape shares, okay? Not AMC shares. Do you understand that? Now, let's go back over here and take a look at ape again. On February 13th, they sold some of their ape. They sold again. This is another time when they were given AMC shares or ape shares, and this is another time where they were given ape shares, okay? But now, this is ape. What about AMC? Well, let's take a look. Looking at Antara's AMC transaction history, we see that it is exactly the same as ape. So, on February 13th, they sold their AMC shares at $39.70 a share. And a few days later, they sold more AMC shares at $46 a share, okay? Then they were given some more ape. So how are they getting AMC shares? Every single time they were given ape shares, they were given AMC shares also. And you see it in their trading history right there. What in the... I got to be careful what I say. Some people like don't like me cussing, so I try not to. But people, I told y'all way back then, the financials on AMC's uh, was turning into the, to the SEC showed that they were giving away ape every time they did a dilution. And now we see here... With the trading history of Antara, all right, in February to June, call it August, all right, from February to August, if the two match up, then Adam Aaron was giving them AMC shares every time he gave them an ape share. And let me tell you something, people, that's the only way that they could have 93 million shares and 105 million shares just between these three insiders alone. Oh my God, what has Adam Aaron done? 